happening. And if we invest in fixing that and we do it precisely now, then that's an okay thing. Josh Bivens with the Economic Policy Institute. What do you think about what Mr. Hassett is saying about missing the mark on the big problems? Well, I guess, yeah, I mean, there's some disagreement here. I mean, to me, the, the big problem right now is just the high unemployment rate. And to me, what is driving the high unemployment rate is it's not uncertainty or worries about long-run deficit or regulation. It is simply a, a shortfall of demand. There's just not enough spending going on in the economy to, to fully employ everyone. And we know why that shortfall in demand happened. You know, we had an $8 trillion housing bubble that burst. Households felt, and were, much less wealthy. All the construction of new homes that went on during the bubble c collapsed. And what we really need is something to step up and provide the spending to keep people employed until households burdened by all their debt that they took on during the 2000s that have worked that off feel comfortable spending enough again, businesses feel comfortable spending enough again. I don't think it's a, a shot of caffeine that will lead to an inevitable hangover. It is supporting spending until the private sector has their balance sheets in order and can do spending themselves. And so I, I think it, you know, I, I actually think it's not big enough to, to fill in that shortfall in demand caused by the bursting of the housing bubble still, but, but it's not small. And it's a real step. So I actually think it is kind of attacking the fundamental problem.